I'm Jack. I'm the artistic director of Ram Shakalicious Theatre Company. The show, um, this show's epic. It's um, here not to just be at a festival, but to impose on it and take what it wants, but also give lots to it. Well, there's a whole team. There's a whole team of people involved in this project. Um, we've got a pool of artists, different performers from different different kind of backgrounds. Well, my name's Holly Stop It. I am co-founder of Ramshack Delicious, uh, but on this process I've been facilitator of all research experiments. It's based on the traditional Punch and Judy show, so with the traditional Punch and Judy show, uh, Punch is there and lots of different challenges come in to, to offer him different challenges and he overcomes them all one by one. So we've used the format, uh, but we've taken it into modern day, uh, so there aren't any um, that's the way to do it. Nobody's got a swazzle. Nobody at all in the show is going to work with a swazzle. And they're in modern day dress as well, so you wouldn't necessarily associate them with their Punch and Judy characters. Uh, but so the format, the format is pretty much the only thing that's that survived from the original. Uh, we've been playing with the idea of um, meat puppetry and meat voodoo, uh, turning characters. Uh, turning pieces of meat into different characters that can then be used um, as voodoo dolls which would in turn infect a character in the show. Uh, we've been looking at horrific multiple deaths getting more and more ridiculous and over the top so as the show goes on the deaths become more and more outrageous. Uh, we're talking about talking this, taking this into into puppet form, so we can really, really go the distance with it, and so it's still very acceptable for family audience. My name is Adam Fuller, and uh, so far I've been involved in the process as a writer and kind of um, dramaturg role, and also as a performer in the in the bits of devising. Uh, well, it's, it's about a very an incredibly dysfunctional family who live in a burger van um, and turn up at the at the site where the, the show is going to be put on, and you basically watch their their incredibly dysfunctional lives disintegrate before your eyes, and their relationships fall apart, and their relationships with the outside world become very dysfunctional, um, and as a, yeah, and and then them as a family unit break up and destroy each other. As Punch's demise over the show happens, this will be shown with the set falling to pieces and bits falling off and bits setting on fire. And the more and more he becomes exposed, the more stuff will fall off the set until the, the set is just a bare shell. The characters are very vivid and real. Um, they feel very well fleshed out. They feel very interesting the way they interact with each other and hopefully with an audience i think the story the narrative is kind of is being built con consistently as we keep going through the process and i think it's got a really strong skeletal structure from the work that we've done over the past few weeks what we've got here is the nucleus of something that could be um really amazing spectacular both visually and <coughs> and in the sense of being a narrative, um, so taking what we've got, which is already great, and then giving that the opportunity to become bigger and better and, and come to fruition as a real as a real thing is incredibly exciting.